Yeah, well, Tommy. Sorry. <laughs> no. Um, you weren't training today. Are you okay? How are you feeling? Yeah, all good. Um, this will be a new look for me. I'm um, obviously coming off almost two uh, year and a half of not playing, so um, my program will look different for probably the rest of my career um, in terms of how much training I do throughout the week. So all good, but yeah, pulled up a bit sore. It's been a while since I've played footy, but I'm all right. So you won't train as you'll just be less training throughout the week from here on? Yeah, essentially. Yeah, I'll just do probably the main training and play on weekends and then all the other stuff around it. I won't do as much, so, yeah. Did you play more minutes on the weekend than you were expecting to? No, no, we nailed it in the end, yeah. I, um, in the middle quarters, I played a bit more than what I was supposed to, but then I had a lot of the last quarter off, so I think it was about, it was about right, which was good. How's the um, <clears throat> increase in minutes look for you throughout the remainder of the year? Obviously, you're just saying you've got a change in training, but games, are you expected to get back to that full load? Yeah, so over the next month, I'll, I assume in the next three weeks, I'll be back to a full game, everything going well. Um, so it's about 80% of a game on the weekend, and then 85 maybe this week, 90 the next, sort of that, that sort of progression. And you said, so do you feeling a little bit sore? Is that general soreness or is that sort of, um, you know, the actual injury side itself? No, nah, just general. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, hit bodies and been in, in the contest of an AFL game. So um, you forget how sore you pull up after games of footy. The boy, you hear the boys complain every week and um, yeah, you forget about it. What did you make of the game uh, against uh, Richmond in terms of, seemed like you're relatively competitive sort of across the match, but maybe skill execution probably a little bit off for, for both teams? Yeah, pr yeah, probably just a bit of polish in the end, um, and then just momentum in the game. Like they they made the most of their opportunities and went on runs, and we could, probably couldn't capitalise when we had our chances. Um, but yeah, there was some growth there. Some of our younger players are starting to to get some footy under their belt and play more consistent footy. So there was growth, but at the same time, we we want to win games, and we thought that was a a chance to to win a game, a winnable game, and yeah, we didn't get the job done. Be interesting dynamic coming up against Carlton, who really sort of found like they've kind of found their form heading into the finals at sort of the right time. What have you made of their season so far? Yeah, well, they're playing, I don't know how many they've won in a row, but they're playing good footy at the moment. They're playing a good, honest brand um, built around the contest and, and bringing pressure around the ball, um, and that's held them in good stead for the last month. So we're going to have to be at our best. Um, our away form hasn't been great this year, so. Um, we're going to need to be at our best to, to be a chance to win. What did you make of Gaff's performance, given he was named as a sub and then came on pretty early? Yeah, it was just awesome to see. Uh, obviously a big week for him. He's played, I don't know how many games this footy club, but you know, th two-time All-Australian, best and fairest winner. Like He's a good player um, and he's just a bit out of form. So it was good to, good to see him get reward for his effort. He's been working his, his butt off uh, on the track. So yeah, it was good to see. At the start of the second half on <coughs> Sunday, they came out kicked about four goals in roughly the first 10 minutes of that third turn. How do you sort of go about trying to, you know, limit that momentum if a team does come out, kick an early goal or two, trying to limit the impact and make sure they don't get on, you know, those massive runs of four or five goals in a row? Yeah, it's one of the most difficult things in footy um, and being able to deal with momentum um, when you can do it right uh, can help you win games of footy. So I think that's something we've struggled with this year. Um, teams have gone on big runs and we haven't been able to stop them. And I think um, one of the main things we kind of focus on is, is really simplifying the game. Like at the end of the day, getting the contest right, bringing good intensity and pressure around the ball is what's going to get you back in the game. So we've had a big focus on that over the last month. And um, I think that held us in uh, good stead over the weekend. Like they didn't, they kicked, I think, two to end the second quarter and three at the start of the third. Um, but then we were kind of able to find our way back into the game, which was pleasing. Do you feel like it was sort of the, the back end of that second term, the, the opening few minutes of that third term, do you think that was sort of the deciding factor? Because it seemed like outside of that period of the game, you sort of stuck with them pretty evenly. Yeah, well, what have we lost by five goals and that's five goals there. So, you know, if we can, you know, stop that, then yeah, we're, we're right in it. Tom, uh, no Gav and no uh, Tommy B out there this morning. Are they on that sort of similar program or are they just sort of having a day off today? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a few sore boys um, and there's a few boys who, who will be on that same program for the rest of the year. There's, what, six games left. So um, trying to get everyone fit and healthy for the for the last six games of the year is important. So those two are important to our back line. It's good to have Gov back out on the weekend and hopefully he can play again this week. When they both sort of went off at the same time in the first quarter on, on Sunday with a couple of different knocks, was there, obviously there was a reshuffle in the back line. What was that like at that time? Yeah, it was all a bit hectic. Um, 
yeah, I think Jaden Hunt had to swing back and then um, Creeper might ended up in the back line. It all happened pretty quick, but um, yeah, we, all, we, saw, we sorted it out pretty quickly and that, it was good to get him back out there after not too long. You talked about the development in the younger players. In terms of games played, you're still quite young yourself. I mean, you've been in the system like seven years, I think, and you're still yet to crack 100 games, having missed so much through injury. How have you managed that frustration personally for your career? Yeah, well, early, um, my, like my first couple of years, I had to really had to earn my spot. Like, I probably wasn't ready. Um, so those first couple of years, I barely played. And then <clears throat> once I finally cracked in, I had some good continuity. And um, the, the last couple of years have been pretty frustrating. Um, Obviously, I played no games last year. I played five this year. So, um, but it's been like it's all part of footy. Like adversity, you build resilience through it. So, um, it'll hold me in good stead. And I'm just very grateful to be back out in the footy field now, um, playing with the boys. How's uh, Ruben Jinby been tracking the last couple of days? Is he looking okay out on the track? Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure the extent of uh, his injury. Um, but yeah, he. I don't think he trained today. But I think he'll get a scan and they'll, they'll sort it. But I think it, it seems minor at this stage. And as someone who's, you know, had your, your injury troubles throughout your career, do you sort of try and get around Ruben a bit more because he's sort of so early on in his career and sort of help him through overcoming these situations? Yeah, well, there's been, um, not just Ruben, there's been a lot of boys in rehab over the last couple of years. I've had a lot of mates in there. Um, so we've kind of lent on each other a bit. And if, if anyone like Ruben or any other player who's injured uh, needs someone to talk to, I'm always there. Have you had it? <coughs> Sorry, um, Harry Mackay won't be playing for the Blues. Have you taken a little bit of a look at the last game of their sort of uh, attacking structure without him? And, and what did you make of that? Uh, I honestly don't watch too much footy, um, but he's a common medalist, so nice that he's not playing. Um, but I, I know Rick Carlton. Not, Carlton's brand of footy over the last month has just been built on pressure and intensity and that's what they've really fired up to get him back into winning form. So um, it's cliche, but we're just going to have to be on our game in the contest to win uh, on, on the weekend. Last time you played the Blues, the other Coleman medalist kicked 10. What, what do you guys think you'll do or have you not sort of got there yet to nullify him? Yeah, we haven't quite got there yet. That'll be a tomorrow discussion uh, when we go through Carlton, but obviously he's a good player. Um, but we feel uh, with... Tom Barras and uh, McGovern um, and the rest of us backs when we play together and we play well and work um, as a connected group, we can, we can deal with most forward lines. So um, we'll have a look at them tomorrow, but we're confident.